close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust cucumber shrimp mcbomb but i'm gonna before we do that oh yeah guys and rice and before we, before we do that i'm gonna prepare the sauce and i'm gonna prepare the shrimp so i'm gonna go over really fast our ingredients and what we're gonna be using so we have for the shrimp we have all-purpose flour panko crumbs I like panko breadcrumbs because they get really crispy and I like the plain because I like to season it myself with some adobo. And we're gonna be using eggs because we're gonna be boiling some eggs. We have some, um, 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 oops, you didn't see that guys. I got some polished kielbasa. These things are good. And for the sauce we have, it's, the Rachel sauce, okay? I don't care. I made it my style, so I'm going to change the name, and it's Rachel sauce. Um, we have butter, lemon, onion, Cajun seasoning. We have onion powder, ginger, uh, chili powder, chili flakes, parsley, obey, oregano, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then this is the shrimp. We got two pounds of medium um, at one of my local stores, which is Food Lion, my favorite store. They had um, buy one, get one free deal. So we have two pounds. So um, we're gonna step right into the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe this video and watch the whole video so you can learn how to do it with me. Bye. Okay guys, so right now we're gonna start with the shrimp. To season the shrimp, what I have is no Latin house to go along without adobo for you. I got some adobo with, um, I think this is the one with pimienta with pepper. I got um, garlic powder and I got onion. Yes, this is in this already, but I don't feel it. I don't taste it. So I add a little more. Here we have two pounds of deveined shrimp. Cleaned, deveined, and ready to go. So what I'm going to do right now, it's all washed and stuff, is that I'm going to season it. So like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo, a little bit of um, onion powder, and a little bit of onion. I love onion powder, guys. I don't like onion in real life, but I like the powder. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is mix it Um, I don't add a chote to this, the, the yellow packet, for color because it's going to be coated under breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs don't need it. So, it looks something like this. And while I do the other stuff, I'm going to let that sit so it can marinate. So, in front of me, I have three plates, guys. One and three and you may ask why Rachel got so many plates tell you now flour breadcrumbs and where they are battered okay so I'm gonna do it like this on one plate I do it I open the thing with the lid because I'm not about to bust the nail yes guys I'm not in one bowl plate whatever you're using we're gonna use um pep Pen, what is it called? Let me see. Panko. Panko crispy breadcrumbs. But they are plain. So this is where I would add a little bit of a bowl. Okay, guys. So remember the shrimp has some. Now the panko has some. And that's all delicious Goya flavor. And the other bowl, 
I'm going to add flour. We'll start off with this, but I know I'm going to need more. But we'll just start off with that. It's all clumpy, so you want to break it up. And in the flour, we repeat the same step, guys. We add a bubble to it. It doesn't even give it a big much of a difference, but you get a little bit of the pepper in there. And, and if you want more color, you could add a parsley. Yeah. Um, I add a little bit of the onion. This is all stuff that doesn't have salt. This is just flavor because this is not garlic salt. It's garlic powder. So that just gives it flavor. And then... Here we add the same thing, and then here is where I would add the parsley because that's the coating outside. So this is just what sticks to the shrimp, so that's why I like to season it. And like I said, none of it is salt but the adobo, and I didn't add a lot. And then this. Okay, guys. I know I'm gonna need more of this than this, but this is what we're starting off with. Okay. So then, once we have this ready, we put it aside, and we have two eggs, guys. Okay. I can't find another fork because they're all in the dishwasher, guys. So we are going to crack the eggs. Without getting shell, shell in it. Without getting shells in it, guys. Don't, don't, don't copy me. Oops. Uh huh. No eggshells, guys. And if you were crazy like me, you would use a fork. But they're in my dishwasher. So here, we will add a little bit of adobo too. Just a little sprinkling, guys. Nothing. And then we whisk. And the more you whisk it, the more air it gets, and it's that. Okay, so now this is what the egg should look like, whisk and stuff. So now, so now what we're gonna do is you want to try, and I say try, guys, to keep. One hand wet, one hand dry. Yeah, that does not work for me because it takes forever to do it that way. So, you could get a shrimps, add it to the water, to the egg, I mean. And this is why I like to season the egg as well because, like, egg is basically liquid. So, anything, any seasoning that adhere to the shrimp is gone. It's in the egg now. So, this is why I do it this way. You take a shrimp, guys. You put it in the flour, or a few. You could do a few. So this would be the hand that I would try to keep dry. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside now. And with the hand that's supposed to be kept dry, you Move the flour around to coat the shrimp. Okay. Once you've coated all the shrimp, you get it again. And like I said, it's wet, guys. Not happening. You put it back into the flour. You shake off the excess flour. You put it back in the egg. We can take a fork now. Coat the egg in the on the shrimp so it can be completely covered. And with the fork, you could go back and put it in the breadcrumbs. 
and make sure it's completely coated with egg so the breadcrumb can stick and this is what it should look like guys And I'm going to do a few for you guys, and then I'm going to get back to you when I'm completely done. All right, guys, and that's what it should look like. So I'll get back to you with them coating all my shrimp. Bye. Okay guys, so I just put the eggs to boil. I always add Old Bay and all this stuff to it. My mom thinks I'm crazy. And over here in my pot, I got the rice. How's it going? A hot mess. Okay guys, after an eternal, forever, hour almost, no I'm just joking, after forever and ever of breading shrimps, this is what they should look like. Um, now what we do, what I do is I put them in the refrigerator and let them set. So uh, I put these in the refrigerator, I'm going to start chopping the sausage, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay guys, so the rice is done in the rice cooker thingy. Um, the eggs are done. <coughs> this obey seasoning is making me cough because this girl put obey in the eggs that are boiling <coughs> when they have a hard shell. But whatever. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the sausage or the calabasa. I do not uh, make mine boil today. I'm actually gonna make them fry. So we're just gonna have to. Um, we're gonna slice them, guys. So they should just be sliced, not too thin, not too thick, probably like that. Well, this is two pieces there. Probably like that. So I'll get back to you when I'm done slicing. Okay, guys, um, they're sliced, so this is how thin they should be. Or you can make them as thin or as thick as you want, but this is how we like it. So I'm going to put these aside, and I'm going to start working on the beloved sauce. No, <laughs> scratch that, the Rachel sauce. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do the Rachel sauce. Okay guys, so now I have a medium onion and we're gonna cut that onion for the Rachel sauce. So like, you just slice it like you would slice a regular onion, you guys. You cut the wolf ends. You take off the first layer, at least that's what I do. I don't know, everybody touches it at the store. Some people drop the onion, they pick it back up, they put it back. So I always take the first layer off. Okay, so this is what it should look like. So now, what I do is do this. Now it should be like this. And then all I do is do this. And it's basically in little cubes, guys. Okay? So I'll get back to you when I'm done slicing my onion. Okay, guys. Now that the onion is cut, I'm going to start on my Rachel sauce. You get one stick of butter, guys. Okay? Um, don't ask me for measurements because I don't understand measurements. Well, I mean, I do understand measurements, but I don't know measurements. So in that book, in my black pot, obviously, you guys can see it's a black pot. In the pot, I'm going to start off with melting the stick of butter. To that, I'm going to add the onion. Okay, guys? I'm just adding the onion. And this is, once your butter is melted, your first stick of butter is melted, you're going to lower down the heat because you're going to have to let this onion simmer to cook. Okay, guys? And if you put it on high, 
just for the butter to melt, your onions are not gonna cook, okay? So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little, uh, my eyes are all teared up because this onion was strong. Okay guys, so once you have the first stick of butter in and the onions are in, you're gonna get a spoonful of garlic. This is up to your taste how garlicky you want. We like garlic, so I add this much. It's never too much garlic, guys. Garlic and onion is the best. No, onion is the best, garlic not so much. Yeah, no. Together it makes a per perfect combination. Okay guys, now once you're waiting for this to melt, you could add your other seasonings. Okay, I'm going to start off with the most weirdest one of all, Worcestershire sauce. It's just a little dab, a little splash. And this is what I say, I don't know measurements, I'm just pouring it in. Uh, onion powder. And this is all you could fix to taste. To taste. So if you feel it needs something more, just add a little bit more. Uh, ginger. No precise order. You could just put it the way you want to put it. Cajun spice. Chili flakes. And you add how many chili flakes you want to add. It's how spicy it is. Oregano. Uh, chili powder. Parsley. Garlic powder. And of course, guys. Okay. And for that little extra kick, we're going to add Texas pizza. And for right now, we're gonna put half of a lemon. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need the whole lemon, but for now, this is what I'm putting in. Guys, it smells amazing already. Yes, it does. It does. Don't spill that out the pot now, guys. Okay, so now, we're gonna have to let this cook for like a good five minutes so the onion could cook a little bit. And let me taste it. Right on, guys. Try it. Try it, Danny. Mmm. So we're just gonna let it cook for like five minutes and we'll get, and we'll get back to you in five minutes, okay? Okay guys, five minutes have passed and now this is the time where we're gonna add the other two butter sticks. And clean as you go guys okay again I splashed it don't do that okay so we're just gonna wait for the other two butter sticks to melt and then this is where we're gonna do our final um, seasoning um, adjustments this is where we're gonna um, check it for flavor and if it's good to the taste once we added the other two sticks we will leave it alone and we will let it simmer for a good 20 minutes so all the flavors can marinate and the onion could be soft, translucent, the, uh, the garlic will kind of like disappear because it's so cooked through. So I'll get back to you when the two sticks are melted. Okay guys, so now while we're waiting for the sauce, put the oil there please. We're waiting for the sauce. I'm multitasking guys. You leave that. And we put it on low. We have our cookie sheet ready. Um, we need a pair of tongs. Give me tongs, please. 
Okay, guys, these are pork sausages, uh, calabasa. It's pork, beef, and turkey. Yeah, so it has oil. So, like, basically, what that I just did was just coat my pot with a little bit of oil so it could, like, you know, fry. So, we're gonna let the oil heat up and we're gonna go back to our sauce. As you can see, it's already um, boiling. Jenny's gonna add the last lemon. The last half of the lemon. The last half of the lemon. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. Okay, guys, the two sticks of butter that were remaining have melted. And that is all. It is good to flavor. The taste is real good. So now we're going to put it on the lowest setting on my stove. And we're just going to let it chill. Don't mess with it. Now we're going to multitask like I said. Now we're going back to the sausage. The oil is hot already. So basically all we're going to do is add it. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fry in two batches. Or maybe not. Okay, guys, and we'll get back to you when we turn them over. Okay, guys, this is how the sausage is looking. It is looking delicious, if I do say so myself. And my son is over here screaming, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. He smells it, guys. All right, so we're just going to let it fry for like another minute on the other side. And we're going to take out those and put the rest, the remaining. And back to our sauce, like I said, I'm just moving it to show you guys how good it looks, but this is um, done. I actually like the onion to be a little, to have a little bite to it, because when you bite into that onion, it's so good. But we're just gonna let it sit there for like another 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna take out my sausage. Um, we're taking out all the sausage, guys. And we're just putting it here in this, um, this um, platter, no, it's not a platter. It's a baking dish. Baking pan. Pan. Baking pan. And meanwhile, all this stuff is ready. So I'll get back to you when I'm done frying all my calabasa, calabasa, whatever it's called. Okay, guys. So now, in the same oil that I cooked the calabasa or the sausage, I'm actually gonna use that oil because that oil has a lot of flavor. And we're gonna add some oil to the pot, okay? Oil and butter. Okay, guys. They say that that makes the shrimp crispier. I don't know how true that is, but that is what we're doing. And we're gonna let this get hot again. Okay, guys, I just put one shrimp in the oil to check out how hot it is. And it's looking good and it's um, frying very nice so we're gonna proceed to add the other shrimp Ooh. guys and with the shrimp and the butter and the garlic it smells so good and the reason um, you put it in the refrigerator is for the breadcrumbs to stick to it real good so that's why I do it. Look guys, that's exactly how I like it. You don't want to overcrowd the pot. So that's all that I'm adding in there. I was using this one for the raw and this will be for the cook. So this shrimp is done. Look guys. Crispy and golden. Okay, so we're gonna go to these and turn them over. The reason you add a lot of oil is so they could get completely simmered in oil. So by the time that one side is done, because the oil is covering it completely, the other side should be done too. Like you can see like these. And this is um, shrimp. So basically you know that this cooks in a matter of seconds. 
this is what they look like and we're gonna get back to you when i'm done frying them bye. okay bye. guys we are finally sitting down to eat bye m squad don't forget to subscribe And don't forget to turn on the little bell. Ding ding ding. Like, comment, and share, guys. Time is barely out.